Hello everyone, welcome to episode 28 of this awesome, super fantastic, incredible Usu Let's Play series. Yeah, I used different adjectives this time, I used some creativity. <laughs> In the last episode, I talked about flow aim and how I think the different tapping styles affect flow aim and aim control in that regard. And in this episode, I want to talk about different ways to warm up. And probably I'll mostly be focusing on how I warm up in particular as a singular point of reference. But I also want to talk about some general observations or thoughts that I have about warming up in this game. So yes, this topic, by the way, was brought in as a comment suggestion from someone named a total loser. Uh, disclaimer that that is just their YouTube name and not what I think of them, but um, as they suggested this topic on discussing how to choose maps to warm up for the day to target certain skill sets and things like that. So we're we'll talking about that in this episode. And if you have any topics for future episodes as well, I do read the comments on all of these videos. So be sure to leave your suggestions in the comments and I will do my best to check them out. Uh, yes, so before we get started, I also want to mention that I live stream every single day over at twitch.tv slash digitalhypno, so if you want to hang out with me or watch me play this game live, anything like that, I would highly, highly suggest stopping by, saying hello, I would be very, very happy to see you there, and bonus points, also, if you tell me that you came from this Let's Play series, I will be very, very happy to see you there, you get, you get super bonus points, it's like maximum bonus points, <laughs> so yes, let's go ahead and get started, so, um, I have a couple, I guess, sort of random maps that I want to play to show you guys. And uh, before I get into those, though, uh, actually, play this map. Okay, okay. So, a couple things about warm up. So, basically, when I start my session uh, these days, I do stretches, um, you know, hand wrist exercises, things like that. There's a couple um, resources out there, like YouTube videos, the follow along type videos that you can use for hand stretches. That I will have linked in the description, but I'll have one link in the description that I typically use um, so that you can use that as a point of reference, but there's definitely more out there. So you can do your own research, just any you know, hand wrist exercises for gamers, you know, anything of that sort. You um, should, should be able to find a lot of different ones and you can try different ones and see what works for you. But I definitely think stretching is a very important aspect of warm-up, especially if you plan on pushing your limits to some extent in that session. Like if you're really trying to improve, during that session, then I think stretching your hands out, the wrist, things like that, um, is very, very vital to make sure you don't run into hand pains or injuries or anything like that. So that effectively is like step zero, to be honest, in when it comes to an actual, I guess, full course OC session, because it's very, very important, I would say. So after that, okay, so me personally, I think it's m most beneficial to warm up with some fundamentals at the start of your warm-up routine. So for me, I do auto method after my stretches. That is, um, if you're not sure what that is, check out episode 25 of this series where I explained it in a lot of detail. But yes, auto method, I do that first and you can, so usually what I do, so I, I sort by difficulty and I type mode equals O, status equals R. And this filters the game mode to only OC standard maps and then status equals R for ranked maps. I use right click to scroll down here and then I just go to around like somewhere in the random range of like 1.5 usually to 1.7 somewhere around here and i just like pick out songs that i like and i just um turn on hidden i think usually yeah usually i, I use hidden so per personally but if you are more comfortable on hidden than nomad then i would say to use nomad instead but yeah so okay a, a little unrelated but people have been asking me if i could s like um put out a download link to my song list uh, i will see if i can get around to that i'm not i've never set up anything like that before but uh, yes, look forward to that. I'll probably announce it maybe on, on Twitter or on my Discord server, uh, both of which you guys should join, by the way. They're linked in the de description of all my videos. But um, as for miscellaneous updates like that, I would highly recommend stopping by those places to stay involved. But uh, yeah, so usually I play these, uh, I think I mentioned in the auto, auto method episode, like 15 to 40 minutes usually is usually around how long it takes me to feel somewhat adjusted or warmed up to those, like to the auto method skill. And from there, uh, I do some sort of tapping warm up. No, no, okay, actually, then I do some sort of skill skill cap warm up, um, sort of raw mechanic aim warm up. Personally, so I do aim. I have these collections actually. Collections. Okay, so uh, this is this is actually just going to be a tour of my <laughs> of my all my warm up routine. So, uh, yeah. So let me press escape to clear the search filters. 
these maps are all unranked. So I use these maps for like skull cap pushing basically at the start of my session. So it, okay, so th these maps, uh, let me use this one for example. So it's, it's effectively, okay, so this is actually a really small circle size, but I'll, I'll explain why in a little bit. But basically it's just like really hard jumps. This is basically like, um, you, you know those um like whiteboards not, not like um those whiteboards in class that you have to like touch to calibrate the, the corners i don't remember what they're called um th thinkpad is, is no 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 okay. anyway anyway <laughs> some of you guys might know what i'm talking about um but this is basically like in, in calibration um that i sort of do at the start of my session and also uh, like coming straight off of auto method i feel like it's very helpful because auto method sort of warmed up your raw cursor stability and maybe helped you adjust your chair position and things like that to really get adjusted for that session. And then from there, you sort of move on to like raw aim calibration to like move across the screen more comfortably. And combining that, I think with like, you know, shaking out your hand or stretching out your wrist and things like that between maps um, helps a lot to get more warm throughout, um, like while you play these maps. So yes, and the, the reason why, so you'll notice these are actually uh, the difficulty name is like CS6 or CS6.5, like they're all circle size edited. And that's because um, it is sort of in the same vein as I think what I mentioned in, was it episode 26? I talked about like um, that sort of sweet spot for like difficulty maps to play, where I say that like the sort of sweet spot for pushing your skill cap is like maps that you get like high B ranks on, usually mid to high B ranks. So at the same time, when I'm warming up my aim, I also sort of use these maps as like benchmark to like see if, how much I'm improving, I guess. Like you can see, that, yeah, so th these scores are actually pretty recent. I've been doing this a lot recently, I think, as a warm up routine. I think it's been working pretty well because you do your fundamentals first and then now you sort of have aim calibration and also training at the same time. So basically, so th these are like raw aim maps. So I think like the difficulty comes from the circle size. So if once I start getting a like decent uh like consistently getting an a ring then i just edit the circle size you could find a new map if you want um but usually i just like change the circle size of the same map and then sort of keep going from there I just increase it until it gets to the range where i'm getting like probably 85 to 90 percent for the most part and then once i improve i guess to the point where i can sort of consistently get an a rank or i've gotten like a couple a ranks like my average session feels like I can get an A rank, then I will move the circle size even higher. So, yeah, usually I play a couple of these. So, th these maps are all mapped by someone named Grand Senpai for the most part. Um, you can use whatever, I guess, aim maps you want that, that you like, but uh, these maps are pretty good. They're very um, high quality, but like very high difficulty as well. So, it works for skill cap pushing. Uh, like uh, something I mentioned in the episode 26 as well, it's like, Skill cap pushing, it sort of applies no matter what, um, like the, the rule of thumb of like B rings, no matter how good you are at that skill, or um, no matter what skill it is for the most part, uh, the rule pretty much applies. So for pushing skill cap, um, yeah, so this aim practice is also sort of two in one. It helps me improve my aim, like raw aim skill cap, and also sort of calibrate my aim at the same time. So that is that, that's my aim warm up. And then for my tapping hand so th there's a couple things that i might do uh lately i've been doing stream long stream practice maps because it, it it's also sort of you know two in one i warm up my tapping hand or like i sort of loosen out my tapping hand and also train stamina at the same time and it's sort of the same in, in the same vein as aim like i'm gradually uh like loosening I'm, I'm gradually improving my stamina through each session and this is a good way to for me to make sure that i get my like raw practice in by doing it as a warm-up i think that works very well like the, the sort of like grunt work type um practice drills that you know you should do um, but you're usually too lazy um, i think doing them as a warm-up works very well because it helps you warm up and also gets you that practice at the same time so that is that so i would either do like long stream practice maps which is what i've been doing recently um, or if I'm trying to warm up tapping speed, like high BPM, if I want to play DT that day, probably, then I will play some like DT maps. Um, and I, so for this, I would sort by BPM. Turn on DT, obviously. Uh, okay, okay, so so hockey hockey life hack. I press F1 and then D and then escape. 
that's that's how I turn on double time quickly. So I can do that again to show you guys. So yeah, very quick way to turn on double time. That's how I would typically do it. So show you guys life hacks on the Ozu client. But so yeah, right click down. So I'd probably jump to around like so per personally. I, this, this is this is also more of like a, a benchmark video of, of like where I currently stand in like in warming up. But I'd probably go to actually that there's one map uh, that I typically start with, which is um. This one, I, I just play this map until I feel somewhat warmed up. I, I can see I have a bunch of local scores on this map, um, and then I usually scale up in BPM and like pick out you know one or two maps here usually, and then uh, or like as I you know scroll down in BPM, and then there's a couple maps that I actually put out in a separate collection. This one, so there's a couple maps that I always go to for sort of warming up my tapping speed. Is um. I go to this one. This is 288 BPM bursts with like minimal spacing. Uh, 293 BPM, also pretty bursty. Uh, this one's 300 BPM, which is like all single taps for the most part. Um, and this one, I usually I play. I try to play it twice. I do it once, like single tapping everything with my index finger, and then again single tapping with my middle finger. Uh, and then this one's also 300 BPM, but it's more bursty. Um, so, oh, but, okay. So okay, actually, sometimes I show my local scores, and it's like random uh, player names or like players that are not me so you can change your local name sometimes like uh this one i changed the local name i was making a puzzle basically for a tournament and it involved changing the local names on the scores that's what this one is for uh this one also but except the puzzle name happened to also be like another player's name so <laughs> uh yeah just in case you guys are wondering this is actually my score but for, for the most part there's some other scores out there um or replays on my locals that are actually other players but yeah, keep that in mind. For, for the most part, it's actually other players. It's, it's not like I'm I'm having like phases where I just like randomly try to be like uh, another player for some reason. But yeah, anyway, anyway, um, yeah. So typically, I would do tapping speed warm up, um, like that, and then that gets me my fundamentals warm up, my stretches, and then my aim sort of skill cap slash calibration, and then also my tapping either with long streams, which sort of helps me like refine my tapping technique for one and um for but more for long streams and also train my tapping stamina obviously and also sort of helps me loosen my fingers and then uh i would either do that or i would do tapping speed like raw tapping speed to help me warm up uh that instead usually i don't do both streams and tapping speed but it i think depend yeah it depends on the session i would say like what i really want to focus on more but um yeah that's that that is currently my routine so like lately i've been trying to gain rank so that is what i do to warm up to sort of make sure i'm maintaining my skill level and like gradually improving even though i'm mostly just trying to set scores uh for most of my sessions so i try to make sure i get that practice in fundamentals in so that that's not neglected doesn't fall off so yeah that is that and then yeah lately most recently for the rest of the session after i do that stuff i would just play whatever farm maps i have in like my collections try to, trying to learn different maps um, a couple days ago, I did a live stream where I just like took a bunch of map requests from the people watching of like maps that I could gain rank from, and so I put them all in this collection. I've been trying to work through and like learn all of them, but uh, it's a lot of maps here. But yes, anyway. Oh, okay. Old sudden death scores. Okay, so if you notice, if any of you guys saw this and were confused, like how is it sudden death, but also an A rank at the same time? So this is from when I would play single player, like solo multi lobbies, multiplayer lobbies. And even if you failed with sudden death, if you got to the end, you could press F2 on the result screen. Yeah, if you press F2 on the result screen, it exports the replay file. And then I would just import it so that I had the local score, um, even though the score actually didn't submit. So yes, anyway, so that is, that. that's basically my warm up routine right now. But I do also want to talk about, um, I guess, in general, like other methods of warming up, I guess. Um, and while I do that, I want to show you guys some, I guess, more miscellaneous maps, I guess, like a, a handful of different maps that I like. I want to show you guys. Is it classic Sapphire Ghost map? Sapphire Ghost, definitely one of the best players. A huge inspiration to me, personally. Very cool. This map is so good. I'm going to turn the effect volume even lower. Okay, okay, okay. So, actually, does this map have video? Hold on, let's find out video. Uh oh, I don't actually know. Uh oh, shoot, it doesn't. Okay, it's grayed out. That means there's no 
video shoot okay anyway wait actually okay maybe there is on the website um okay this, this feels this feels a little adventurous right now ah shoot okay okay so the way you can tell is that if you go to the website if um because it, it was possible that i had downloaded the map just like without the video like if you go to the website to download a map there if the map has a video there's actually going to be two download buttons one um offers you to download it with the video and one offers to download it without the video so in that case if you don't want to use the video in the first place then you don't have the video file just sitting on your computer taking up space so yeah, that is why the two options exist but okay anyway this stuff is so good so yeah personally i would say i think i mentioned this in um, episode 26 as well but you can pretty much play whatever you want for a warm-up okay i think the volume's okay i think the volume's okay I think the only thing is like you don't want to play things that are too outside of your skill range um because you don't want to be tensing up i think too much during your warm-up session but um yeah oh okay also um okay so personally like the reason why my warm-up routine is set up the way it is is because for the most part i okay so this is actually i think not super common from what i've noticed from other players but Personally, okay, so you have basically two like categories of your skill in this game. You have your fundamentals, and then you have like your raw skill cap, which is also called like raw mechanics. And personally, I find that my fundamentals are in a better spot than my mechanics. So personally, I've been trying to focus a bit more on that uh, when I warm up, which is why my warm up routine currently is the way that it is. But if you feel like you're sort of the other way around, which statistically I think is the majority of players in this game, then I would suggest doing more fundamental stuff when you warm up. Like some other things that I have done in the past to warm up is um, Flamingo Method, which if you've seen my video on that, actually if you haven't, I suggest checking that out. This map is so good. 10 stars. Um, but yes, Flamingo. Coasty. I had Coasty submit it. Okay, actually, so uh, trivia fact, I actually made this map, but I had Coasty submit it and put my name in the description because um, I didn't want form post to be created. It is a bit nitpicky. Basically, on my profile, uh, I don't want any form posts on my profile because I basically like you can't delete them. So if hypothetically I ever wanted to have zero form posts on my profile, like I wouldn't be able to do that. Um, so, uh, and what happens when you submit? Uh, beat map, right? Okay, it used to be the case that when you submit a beat map, it all also automatically creates a forum post for that beat map. Um, so I would always like not submit my maps, or like if I really needed to submit a map, um, then I would have someone else do it. So yeah, in this case, I made the flamingo map set, and then I told Coasty to submit it for me because uh, he's just a beast. He's such a, such a bro. <laughs> um, but yeah, nowadays that's not the case because they changed how the system works. So. Now you can, if you notice, I actually have a couple maps of mine submitted on my profile. You should totally check out my maps, by the way, guys. My maps are awesome. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yes, this is a map set that's more designed for targeting specific... Um, I'll, I'll show you. So basically, it's, it's designed for like drilling specific tapping motion. Like this difficulty, for example, is all triples. And um, okay, so okay, a little miscellaneous uh, tidbit, but for a flamingo method, I've had some people tell me that like they completely can't hit anything, like they like don't understand the rhythm at all. I would recommend going into the editor and like just watching it and like listening to the audio. And try to internalize the rhythm and then play it with hidden, right? Just like following the guide in the video. But uh, hopefully that makes sense. But I, I used to actually do this a lot to warm up as well. Um, yeah, you can see, especially okay, it's February for the most part. It seems like it's a bunch of scores on Flamingo in these maps. So. Uh, if you're basically whatever uh, skill you are trying to focus on, like in the current moment, I would suggest like doing a very isolated version of it, or like playing maps that are very is like isolated to that towards that specific skill as a warm up, um, and like work like sort of ha have this system. I would say where like you so like you use those maps to warm up or like calibrate yourself, but you can also gradually increase the difficulty of those maps using the whole um, B rank sweet spot thing so that you are constantly pushing yourself gradually and uh, continue to improve. 
because I, I think the worst thing to do, not not worst thing, okay, but um, something that I think a lot of people do is they find a warm up routine that works for them, but then they stay with that routine even as they improve. Like let's say um, you're trying to lift heavier weights, and let's say what a, a comfortable weight for you to use is like twenty or like t- ten kilos, okay, t- ten kilograms, um, or like ten weight units of units of weight basically um and basically as you get stronger you're gonna want to upgrade right to like heavier weight but if you stay on that weight the whole time then it it's not going to be as effective practice for you basically so um yeah hopefully that sort of makes sense like you, you do want to gradually um i change like increase the complexity of your warm up warm up actually maybe not necessarily change the complexity but like Increase in difficulty for one, and also every now and then try to reassess how like good you are at a certain skill. Like, right? I used to play flamingo to warm up, for example. Flamingo, oh, no, no, uh, flamingo, cozy. I used to play this map to warm up, um, but at a certain point, I felt that my finger control was in a much better spot than it used to be, and I should probably move on to other things. So, um, yes, hopefully that sort of makes sense, clarifies. Um, more, I guess, of how I personally warm up the way that I, or like, yeah, the way that I personally warm up and why that sort of came to be. Um, and yeah, if this was of any help, this is more of a quick video of a, mostly like a, a tour of my song list. Um, but a couple little tidbits about warm up. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you, okay, so the, the maps that I mentioned in this video, uh, okay, so I, I did like scroll through a lot of different maps in this video. So, I, to be honest, I would say if you want um, any of the maps that you saw here, I would probably just say go to the mapper's profile and like find it in their bmap section because there's like infinite maps here and I'm not going to be able to link any like of these maps, um, or, like all, all of them in the description. Um, I think I'll probably only link the one that I actually played, Sapphire Ghost map. Um, Sapphire Ghost, honey, this map is so good. But yes, okay. Anyway, with that, yes, if you uh, if if you have suggestions for future topics or if you want anything that I mentioned in this video to be expanded on, um, please leave a comment, let me know uh, what you think. And if you're watching this in the future, definitely check out my future episodes or videos because I upload these every single day. And also, as usual, in case you guys have not already stopped by my Twitch streams, I would be very, very happy to see you guys there. So yes, check out my Twitch channel as well, uh, twitch.tv slash digitalhypno. But yes, with that, I'll see you guys next time.